Oh, there we go, we're live. Hello everyone, making sure my microphone is plugged in this time. Oh, I, it is, there I am, I hear my lovely voice. And hello, welcome to tonight's stream. Got some, uh, gonna play some games, cause what, what the heck else do I do during these? It'd be kind of weird if I just like started like sewing or something. Although, nothing wrong with sewing, I just can't do it, so like, and you wouldn't be able to see me anyway. So it'd just be a black screen, me sewing badly. Let's stop talking about this. I got better things to talk about. Like this game I'm gonna play. Uh, I saw, this game came out last week, it looks like an interesting game, it was getting some, uh, views saying that it was an odd game. People were saying it was unlike things anything they've ever seen before and that's my jam I like playing weird stuff this game is called Super Daryl Deluxe check out that face that that's our hero that that's Daryl right there uh, this is a game with some in weapons and you gotta you gotta go around and do stuff it's a real good description to this game I bet you know made this really uh, sound appealing but I I looked at it. It seems like very strange. Slur I'm going buzzwords. Metroidvania ish uh, RPG -ish to it. The art style is pretty cool. I hear it's like all, all handwritten, handwritten, hand drawn. And let's just see how this game goes, shall we? I think we shall. Otherwise, you're just going to be sitting here looking at this uh, title screen for an hour. You want to do that? We can just look at the title screen. It's a pretty cool title screen, right? Look at this guy with a mustache. He's got a championship belt on. And here's the newspaper. All right, we're just going to play the game. Super Daryl Deluxe. Save file four. Where else would we go? Daryl, Daryl, and Daryl. That was... Which Bob Newhart show was that? Was that the Bob Newhart show, or was that Newhart? This game does not autosave, I just noticed it said. Dan and Gary Games presents... Thunder. A game they tried their very best on. Well, that's good to know. I gotta give them credit then. Oh! The trench coat kid. The jig is up, Detective Daryl. Daryl's already in trouble. We got your woman, we got your textbooks. It's all over for you. It's curtains for you. <laughs> Not so fast, trench coat. If that is your real name, you're under arrest for breaking the law. It's a good thing to be under arrest for. It's your jig that's about to be up. We'll see whose jig is up when you're busy dying. Uh oh. Oh, well, he's dead. Ugh. Oh my god! The princess. That's a princessy looking character. You won't get away with this. Detective Daryl is a big, strong man who isn't afraid of thugs like you. Keep it up and you'll be joining, Detective Allen. He's got a 20s voice. I haven't used that since Cuphead. See you in hell, Detective Daryl. <laughs> I improvised with the laughter. I'm sorry. Oh, he's okay. He's alive. Cough. Most corpses do not cough. So, we could only assume that he survived this brutal attack. Looks like my jig is <laughs> just about toast, buddy. Oh, maybe he's dying. But he's alive now, so I was right. I really thought we had him this time. <laughs> no use standing around watching me bleed out in this cold, dark alleyway. <coughs> Go get your woman back. Just promise me you'll tell mine <coughs> that I won't be home for <coughs> Chicken Wing Wednesday. That's unfortunate. Chicken Wing Wednesday is very it's a, it's a good time. Should be there and not die, in my opinion. Poor Detective Allen. Herg. And he's gone. Oh, that's a handy sign. Jump? 
Whoa, look at that jump. Freaking Sonic the Daryl Hog over here. Daryl the Hedgehog. Whoa. I'm shooting lightning. I throw a boomerang. I can teleport, apparently. Oh, they have cooldowns down there. Sprint. Look at that run animation. I like that. I like that walk animation, too. Check that out. Whoa, and a dash. I like I like the look of this already. Skills of cooldowns. I learned that right, man. I figured it out. We'll all chain skills together to attack efficiently. Oh, I thought I had to. Oh, R1. There we go. All right. That's, that's interesting. I like the jump. The jump really gets... Oh, oh, I looked away for a second. Oh, I keep trying to use the same ability a second time in a row, and you can't do that. Because of the cooldowns that they mentioned, and I mentioned before they mentioned. Oh, one door. Loading. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was about the game that really appealed to me when I was looking at. The, the art style is cool, and like I said, weird game is gonna pique my interest. I don't think we can do much here. Ain't much going on in the old warehouse. Oh! Hey, a best buddy? Oh, there is much going on. Ah! Octopaw, how are you doing? No need to be so gray. Gray? I have red pants, sir. I am not quite as gray as I could be. Don't you worry about what happened to Detective Adam. You were always my favorite. That's horrifying. I know. How about some textbooks to get your mind off of it? Ah, ah, whoa. Oh, those hurt, okay. We wanna not hurt. Get. Oh, I keep trying to use this, the, like I said, I keep trying to use the same ability multiple times in a row, and that ain't a thing you can do. Oh, I don't really seem to be losing much health here. I don't know if, like, since this is a tutorial, I just have infinite health or what. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm losing health. I'm just gaining it. Okay. Oh, okay, so I can double throw the boomerang. Uh-oh, buddy, here comes more of them. Don't worry, have some textbooks. Like I said, this is a high school, apparently. You know, a high school with uh, this shit happening. Let's try to figure out what our best uh, attack order is here to change these things. The, oh, the boomerang into the uh, lightning seems pretty good, and the kick, and the kick into the uh, lightning. The combat's a little repetitive. Wait, don't leave yet. I was just about to promote you. Wow, the super detective sound. Super detective. When I was uh, in high, in junior high. In my French class, they had a video to teach people French, obviously, called Tele Francais, and there was a short in it called Super Detective. And it was just this detective Pourquoi who said Pourquoi a lot. Says, but why? It was, it was, I'm sure there was more to it, but, you know, I was 13 then, so. That was a while ago. You want your woman back, Detective Daryl? Well, she's mine, until my jig is up, and right now, the jig is all the way up here! Wait, so his jig is up? So she's not his anymore? That's what language has taught me. Come and get her, Detective Daryl! Why you? Oh, that's a locker. Okay. So, we, um, once we're done finding these guys, I'll try changing my skills up. Let's see what skills we could change to. I'm not crazy about 
this one. Let's see if maybe there's something cool. Oh wait, let's put it back here for right now. Faux pow, instantly toss all enemies around you into the air. That could be useful. Combustible Confrontation, chapter two. Surrounded by things you despise, use the art of fire to push them away and burn them too, I guess. That sounds good. Shocking statements. Electric orb of electric murder out of your chest like a real man. Press against a detonator early if you're into that sort of thing. Range, stun, and strategic. Oh, but th that requires level 10. We're not, we're clearly not level 10 yet. This is the only other one we can use. We are level 1. Oh, wait, what's over here? Level 10, level 10, level 3, level 3. Yeah, not happening. Let's see what just sharp comments does instead. See how we like that. I, re I still really like the walk animation. I like sharp comments a little more. This is just a two swings of a sword. Works for me. Oh wait, I'm level 44? That's a higher level than I expected. I thought it was level 1. We can use those other abilities. I'm guessing like this is like the introduction and we're going to lose all these abilities at some point. Ah, this is tier good. So let's use that. What do these do? This is a slide and knock any enemies it touches into the air. Teleports harmlessly and instantaneously in the direction he's facing. Alright, and charges forward and strikes the first enemy sees. Alright, well this tier is okay. These tiers, they're all okay too. This is the only... Oh, wait, that's a good tier. I guess it was better than I really thought. I ain't given enough credit. I'm sorry. Whoa. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that ability. Just a nice little ground attack for multiple enemies. That is too high of a jump. That's not oh, too long of a jump. Let's explore over here first. Hello, lock. The door is locked. Thank you. What a peculiar looking lock we've got there. Too slow, detective. Maybe next time. If your jig lasts that long. Oh god, they're gone. Oh god, there's a key. Oh, I could, uh, I could unlock the thing in a second. Once I murdered the hell out of these guys. Ooh, I, I like that that new ability that I'm probably not going to be able to use for um, after a while. Hey, get back here. Get back. Get back. I think I want to collect that. I think. Oh no, it's just an enemy. All right. It looked like uh, I thought maybe a collectible that you just had to beat before you could collect it. Does he change like outfits when he attacks with different things? All right. So yeah, I'm probably losing these abilities. Um, very soon. Because there's no way the game would just be like, oh, you start at level 44. And that's just normal for the rest of the game. Although, I was told it's a weird game, so maybe. Did I get the key, or did we not collect that? We saw the key a moment ago. We got no indication as to whether we actually got it. We did. Solution found. Hey, get back. I want to kick you. All right. That'll show him. I keep hitting 
R1 instead of L1 to proceed. Depository of Doom. Oh, my, my, the princess is here. This is where the jig ends, Detective Daryl. It's just you, me, your woman, all your textbooks, and this empty room full of dynamite. Turn around and I won't have to blow you and your book straight to the moon. But take another step and the woman gets it. Don't listen to him, Daryl. He's serious. You like my woman voice there? Very practiced. Oh, I'm dead. I ain't even walk. The game made me do it. No! Acted with precision. Where's my, uh, where's my, uh, Oscar? There we go. Well, that takes care of Detective Darrow. You have to get out, Detective Darrow. Do it for me. Get up, Darrow. Do it for all of us. The power of friendship must overcome the power of evil. Well, this is a ponies game in secret. Oh, oh, I'm gaining experience. I'm up. No, I'm dead. No, I'm up. No, I'm dead. No, I'm up. No, I'm dead. No, I'm up. I don't know. No, what's happening? That's a, that's a great question. The power of friendship is rejuvenating him. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Your jig isn't up just yet. Ow. Whoa. Hey. This can't be. My plans are ruined. Oh, shit. Oh. I... I didn't stay buff. Detective Darrow, you're alive! You, you did it, pal. Now solve this case like the detective you are. So this is how it is, huh? I should have known that the mighty Detective Darrow couldn't be stopped by mere bullets alone. Oh, shit. A round of old-fashioned fisticuffs it is. I don't mind killing you in front of your woman a second time, but you better hurry because this place is about to blow sky high. Oh god, my stuff! Whoa! My stuff is all upgraded! Yeah, this, uh, this uh, upgrade is not lasting long. <laughs> Uh-oh. God, you can't beat Detective Daryl! Oh, error. I guess I did a good... I guess I did a good. I won. I don't have to. This place is about to blow, destroying you and all your textbooks. And I ain't gonna stick around to watch it happen. Good luck getting your woman out in time, Detective Daryl. You did it, Detective Daryl! This game is... Yeah, I haven't seen the high school yet. <laughs> Qu quick and time me before this building explodes I almost forgot to go into the voice you wouldn't have even known who, who was talking if I didn't do that voice thank god and there we go you're my hero detective Daryl I, I so big voice. and strong how about we go back to my place and I'll make you a big batch of cookies that's a great idea Daryl are you listening to me? About cookies? Daryl? I'm listening about cookies. Daryl! <laughs> hey! Have you heard a goddamn thing I've been telling you? He's the champion. Son of a bitch. Alright, we'll start over. Quit daydreaming and pay attention this time, for Christ's sakes. It all started 40 years ago. Who is this man? Waterfalls High School. 40 years ago. And now it is my honor to proudly introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian for the Waterfalls graduating class of 1975. Both students have demonstrated unwavering dedication to their academics while astoundingly supporting successful leadership positions in every club and sport on campus. 
clubs and sports which have, under their guidance, claimed number one spots in every club and sport championship around the world. What a coincidence. Clubs and sports that the President of the United States of America himself awarded the prestigious Most Admirable Clubs and Sports Award last spring. The first of its kind in the country. He was checking through the U.S. president in 1975. Their service and charity to the Waterfalls community something. is far-reaching and has lifted our modest town out of obscurity into the ranks of the great civilizations of antiquity. From single-handedly raising money to construct the town's first and only municipal airport for homeless dogs and cats, oh, that's to successfully nice. converting the Tri-County area into the world's first peaceful, ethical, and prosperous communist local government. This town's in a lot of stuff. One can only dream of the wonders these boys have in store for the galaxy and beyond. Without further ado, I invite to the podium the valedictorian Eli Bavarius and the salutatorian Ken Hangerman to move us all once again with some words of wisdom. Uh, please, boys, let's hear what you have to say on this joyous occasion. I bet everything's going to go just fine. Thank you, Principal Buttersworth. Gosh, it certainly has been a crazy ride. And what an honor. But let's not fool ourselves. Kent and I couldn't have done it all without the help of our school and the wonderful community. All our hard work means nothing without you. Please give yourselves a hand. Kill it. What a wonderful way to end this chapter of our lives. Sitting here atop this hill, basking in all we've done today, and all we've yet to do tomorrow. I think we can really change the world, Eli. Think how far this momentum can take us. It's a new chapter, Kent. Especially with every top college on Earth begging for our attendance. <laughs> you know, I was serious about what I said at graduation. Which part? The part about not being able to do all we've done without the help of our community. If we hadn't shown our town the ways of love, tolerance, and cooperation, we had never cured seasonal allergies or resuscitated that frozen mammoth. Damn. I know we can reach whomever we wish to reach. I've been thinking. Hmm. Well, there's a surprise. Well, <laughs> hold on. it's crazy. See, I've been researching world peace lately, and my findings suggest that the most peaceful periods on Earth have occurred around the release of best-selling self-help books. <laughs> We've already proven we can help people help themselves locally. Just imagine what we could achieve if we employed the Paramount tool for reaching the masses. Self-help, huh? What a novel idea. Novel. A book that helps people like help book. each other through helping themselves. Our writings could usher in the next golden age. Ah, but we can't get ahead of ourselves. We have to visualize our goals as small steps. You know, like a staircase. Yeah, our staircase to success will ensure our dreams come true. Gosh, you know, Kent, with our heads together, I've no doubt that our climb so to the top of those stairs will be as smooth as an escalator. <clears throat> a smooth, gliding escalator. What a nice couple of boys. Super Daryl Deluxe. A nice town that apparently does everything good in the world. I bet no bad will come of anything. Everyone will be happy and smiling. Oh, but no. Uh oh. Things are gray now. Pleasure We're, oh. to meet you, Daryl Whitelaw. Oh, my name is present. Mr. Roboto, and I am the vice <coughs> principal here. You have a robot princip vice principal? As you know, Water Falls High School is the finest school in the state. We pride ourselves on the beauty and safety that our campus offers. This institution boasts a vast network of friendly, helpful students for you to use at your disposal. <laughs> if you ever need help, do not be afraid to reach out to any of your peers or faculty. Of course, academics are our number one priority. There's nothing we care about more than the success of our students. 
To ensure your success, we have designed the perfect habitat for adolescents to learn and pupate into upstanding citizens. Just pupate? make sure you have a hall pass. Now that we are friends, here is your class schedule. What do you think of your classes? Study hall, study hall, study hall, study hall, study hall, gym. Study. Yes, Daryl. That schedule will be your guide to success here at Waterfalls. You're going to do just fine. <laughs> Classes are about to begin soon. If you would follow me, I will show you to your very own personal storage unit. I love just the slack-jawed stare on Daryl's face the whole time. Hello, purple girl. I bet my locker's the red one. This locker is yours. You will be accessing it frequently throughout the day. It is very important part of your high school experience. Oh look, there are some new friends now! Paul, Alan, this is Daryl! Daryl, this is Paul and Alan! We saw them before in the fantasy. That was, that was the, the guy and the, then the octopus. <clears throat> they don't talk? See? It's easy to make friends! Have fun! What good friends we've become. This bonding experience will be remembered for years to come. Uh, who are you? Silence. Okay, bye. Great friends! Us three? Oh god, he got closer. <laughs> what do you want? Awkward, I like it. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Probably the same thing that's wrong with every other knuckle dragger in this school. Who cares? Don't change the subject. Think. Where can you have lost it? What about the quad? What about the quad? What the? We were just there. We probably dropped it like you drop everything else. Oh, please. I'll have you know I never dropped a thing in my life. I'm just evolving the voice as I see fit until I'm happy with them. Shut up. What were we supposed to do? It's probably blown into the far side by now. That was a good comic. And I'm sure as shit not going out there. They said a bad. Everyone out there in streaming land that you had to hear that. Balto's. This is always. And who the hell even knows where Tony is? Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, I'm trying to think, but I just can't concentrate with that weird kid staring at us like that. It's freaking me out. <sighs> Hi there, you must be new. My name's Paul, and this is Alan. It's a pleasure meeting you and whatever, but we're pretty busy at the moment. Tell you what though, Alan here dropped an important piece of paper in the quad earlier. If you go get it back for us, I'll let you stand here and breathe out our air for. a generous soul. We'll be your best friends, and we could use some flowers too. So while you're there, don't forget to pick some of us. Friends love flowers. Flowers. What do we... Oh, oh right, right, yeah. We do need flowers, don't we? We sure do. So, uh, our piece of paper and some flowers in return for our friendship. Oh, and don't walk into the far side of the quad. The principal is really strict about that. Got it? The character doesn't talk if Daryl is not a talking man. Great! You can get to the quad from the main lobby. Off you go. I want to talk to them some more. Where's our piece of paper? Maybe you don't want to be friends. Oof. Hello, Abby. Hi, I'm Abby. It's nice to meet you. Love the whole headband thing you've got going on. But hey, uh, I couldn't help but hear you talking to Paul and Alan. I'd hate to, you know, tell you what to do, but they really, they pretty much suck. I'd switch lockers if I were you. Half of them are empty now, anyway. I like my locker, though. My locker is the only red locker. Why would I switch? Oh, what's in here? Hello, rat. Goodbye, rat. <laughs> I didn't expect to kill it. <laughs> Quick save. 
Right, because it doesn't autosave. I have to remember that. I'm not used to games that don't autosave anymore. All right, so Daryl's new friends want me to get a piece of paper and dandelions. Uh oh, can't go there. See, that that lock has such a creepy smile. It's it's hilarious. Well, let's explore some more. We got the East Hall that we just came from. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking. Not gonna have that happen twice. Hello, Becca. It's strange seeing the school so empty. You're new, right? Did you happen to catch a glimpse of the principal's face? As far as I know, no one around here has actually seen him in person yet. Maybe that will change this Friday? I imagine he will give a speech or something. I'd like to know his name, at least. Does Daryl know Daria? I don't think so. Maybe. They would be good friends due to the fact that, I don't know, his name start with Da, Dar. Hello, bear. <laughs> Why is there a bear named Mark here? Brrr. Well said. <laughs> what the hell is this game? I, I'm... I'm so confused, but I'm having an okay time with it. I still really like, like the art. Oh, I have no attacks anymore. Do you? I, do I like your beard? Yes. You have a nice beard. This monument is dedicated to Eli Bavarius and Kent Hangerman, whose boundless brilliance and generosity led us all to world peace and to Waterfalls High School, the institution that allowed their greatness to blossom. So, like, why is everything, like... Not peaceful. Well, it is peaceful, but everything's gray. And when you when you think gray, you think like boring. And I guess world peace could eventually get boring if there's no conflict or anything. I really like this guy's hat. A lot. I don't know what my opinion of Kendrick Lamar winning a Pulitzer Prize is. It's an interesting thing to have happened. Oh, this guy's hat is so huge. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to be out here. What with the new administration coming in, the new principal banning anyone being on this side of the quad. I don't fear the consequences, though. Yep. With all these other kids disappearing left and right, I almost feel jealous of them. I'm thinking at some point here, I'll just up and disappear myself. Run away from it all. Maybe camp out in the desert and listen to the coyotes. The coyotes. Coyotes. I don't know why I, like, switched accents in the middle of the word. Eating beans and barbecue. That's the life. Love that jump. I have a very mixed opinion of people named that. <laughs> Hi there, friend. If you promise not to tear me out of the ground by my roots, I'll teach you how to jump. I figured that out already, Mr. Dans. Ah, getting a little close there. You promised. Okay. There you go, Dandelion. You're safe. You're safe forever. Just kidding. <laughs> uh oh. Oh god. What happened? What the heck is going on over here? What do you think people named Chris? I'm gonna leave the last name out to be nice. Opinion of Kendrick Lamar after winning a Pulitzer Prize are? I think he would say Habba Baba. Just ask him yourself. Asking about Habba Baba. I heard Johnny screaming down there. I don't think someone is picking us. Please jump over here and protect me. Hold L2 to sprint. You can jump farther that way. Yoink. I'm very nice to the Dean the Lions. I saw the other Dandelion over there, but I wanted to look here first. I got Tim's locker combo. Squirrel boy! This school's just full of stuff. Oh god! <laughs> ah! Good god, no! Did you lose your nuts too? What good is a quad if you can't store your nuts? Why is everything floaty and chunky? It wasn't like this last spring. My nuts must have fallen down to China by now. Ah! I can't go to China! I don't even have a passport! <laughs> this is a very odd game. I got a piece of paper. Yes, 
Is that dirt under your fingernails? Got him. Hello, creepy face. It's nice to see you. <laughs> Jesus. I can't go there anymore. I guess we'll just fall. Oh. It was alright. I thought I was at least going to get harmed slightly. I wish I had a pair of bright red pants like that. That'd be so cool. I'd be everyone's friends. Like, oh, dude, look at those pants. Here's seventy dollars. Like, Thanks, man. You don't need to do that, but I'll take it anyway. Bet we still can't get through you. Still don't got a key. Miranda's combos. Oh, oh. What can I say? I'm having a bad day. This is a lot more than just a bad day. Well, it looks like our bad day is about to get worse because that kid is back. I, I had to cough <clears throat> there and it ruined the voice and I apologize. <sighs> Look, unless you have your stuff, you... Oh, you do have our stuff. <laughs> Are those dandelions? That's great. You're like our own handy dandy little flower boy. My social rank went up. I'm a flower boy now. I have friends. See, I knew he'd come back. Hey, buddy. While you were gone, Mr. Roboto stopped by. I guess some dork named Daryl left his notebook in the main office. I don't know who Daryl is, and I don't really care. So how does a brand new notebook sound, eh? Friends give each other gifts, you know? I obtained Daryl. Thank you. Speaking of gifts, I bet you're curious about what's on. It's our friend Tim's locker combination. We took it so we could give him five gifts all the time. That's what friends do. And those flowers, you ask? Those flowers are exactly what Tim needs to spruce up his locker. Friends love flowers. Now go ahead and put those flowers in Tim's locker for him. It's over there. Uh huh. Just keep that longer combination in your notebook. I'm sure Tim will want more flowers later on. Come back when you're done. We have more jobs for you to do so you can earn our friendship. This is very believable. Press the touchpad button to open Daryl's notebook. Hey, look at that. I got a notebook. Good for me. Looks like not much we can do in it at the moment. So we haven't collected anything. Except for the flowers. But we need those for the quest. Locker combos. We got Tim. Three, one, four. Your well, I guess we can read this whole thing. Your name is Daryl Whitelaw, and today was your first day of Waterfalls High School. You were warmly welcomed by the vice principal, Mr. Roboto, who, while directing you to your new locker, introduced you to two of your peers, Paul and Alan. To allow the seeds of friendship to grow, Roboto left you kids alone. Paul and Alan were reluctant to accept you into their social circle, but after you recovered for them a piece of paper containing a good friend Tim's locker combination, along with a bouquet of dandelions, they decided you were of use after all. Great. We got no skills yet. Can't do, can't do jack. That's a lot of skills to collect. These are our friends. Our friends Paul and Alan. Paul Palt and Alan Orpter. And Mr. Roboto, our other friends. Oh, wait, who's our not friends? Oh, we don't have any not friends yet. That's good. Our, our, our ratio of friends to not friends is fantastic right now. We figured out a little our layout of the school here. Story quests done. Available quests. Learning about saving. Learning about your journal. Okay, so there's a saving instructor in the bathroom. And there's a keeper of the quests in the North Hall. I'm going to be wanting to do a lot of these side quests. Because here the game isn't very long if you don't do the side quests. But there are, like, lots of side quests. Alright, so let's, let's, oh, we're in the North Hall. Where was the bathroom again? Right off of here, right? 
I think this was the bathroom right here. Let's talk to the saving instructor. You there! Welcome! Wanderer! Again, TV isn't that big. You look like someone who seeks out excitement and lives life in the danger zone. My kind when I see it. Dangerous souls like us must stick together, and we sure as heck need to obey the number one rule of dwarves and druids. Always save. I bet you're wetting yourself with excitement right now. I know I am. He said wedding, and he said number one, and he's in the bathroom. I just explained the joke for you. You're welcome. Talk to me when you're ready to hear the secrets of saving progress, Wanderer. Okay. Yes. All right, so here's what you do. Every time you find yourself in a dangerous spot and nature calls, just find the nearest bathroom and head to the stall over there to update all your progress and stats in your Dwarves and Druids handbook. If you lose all your health, the Game Master makes you start over from your last save. It's super lame, so I make sure to save all the time. Listen to me and you'll never quit the game in a blind rage again. That is a challenge, sir. I do lots of things in blind rages. Happy saving, Wanderer. We completed the quests. We did a good. Let's save real quick. That's exactly the sound effect that should have happened there. Okay, so that's uh, that's a quest down. We did a quest, you guys. Exciting. Completed side quests. Learning about saving. We want to find the keeper of the quests in the North Hall, which is the room we were in. So before we do that thing of the he says, let's talk to the keeper of the quest. You have got to be kidding me. You must be the worst dwarves and druids player I've ever seen. Wandering around without a clue, you've co you're completely oblivious of the number one rule. Keep your quests organized. Do you even know what you're supposed to be doing right now? If you even care about D&D, you you know to check your quest page to find out your current story quest. I read that, man. Your age is behind. If you weren't a, a complete slob, you might know to keep track of all your side quests, too. All the information you could possibly need to complete your quest is right there in your quest page. Do you even realize you could add quests to your quest helper to keep updated on quests? I've said the word quest far too many times right now. You literally only have to check a box. <laughs> you probably can't even figure out how to use a pencil. I bet you can't you haven't even kept a journal of all your quests so far. Like the unskilled moron that you are. Check out your quest page now. And while you're at it, open your journal and start keeping track of everything you've done. It's people like you that make D D so flipping to play. Nobody knows what they're doing. Man, condescending for someone who doesn't know that I already figured this out. I am talented. There's raw talent at this game. Feeling a bit better? Just try to remember how important your quest page is. If you forget what quest you're doing, just give it a quick peek. Maybe one day you'll be as organized as me. I want to just kick his papers out. Right. We got, we did the quest. That's two quests down. Progress. And it probably doesn't have any more quests for us except for the story quest. No side quests available. All right, before we do that, let's see if we can explore a little bit. Hello, jo whoa. That is a tall human being. I haven't seen you around here before. You must be new. My name's Jesse. Welcome to Waterfalls. I gotta say, you picked a great time to transfer. There haven't been any classes here for three weeks. It's too bad no one really comes to school anymore. Are you foreign or something? Maybe. Is that person's name Blurso? That's a wonderful name. Dude, I can't remember where my locker is. He is incredibly tall, and Blurso is my new favorite character. You don't just have the name Blurso and not become one of my favorite characters. Alright, let's do this. 
Oh, it's 314. Oh, they, they show me. Okay. I remembered it, though. I put the James Lines in Tim's locker. I found some lunch money! Should I steal the... I'm stealing the item. <laughs> I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ace. Oh, hi. Um, are you... a side quest, perhaps? You're nothing. I'll talk to you anyway. Hey there, handsome. You look like you know how to interact with others. In dwarves and druids, players need to work together to get things done. Of course, that goes hand in hand with the number one rule. Getting the best skills. Everything is the number one rule. In D D, we can have up to four skills equipped at a time. There are lots... That's grammar. There are lots of different types of skills we can choose from, and they can all be enhanced after you've gained enough experience. My favorite skill is hat summoning. My skill is hat summoning too. I would love to just be able to summon a hat out of nowhere. Like, could you choose the hat? Or is it random? I don't know which option I like better. With a flick of my wand, I could summon... Answer right there. They're really mean, though, and sometimes a bit hard to wear first. That's even more fun! Imagine, won't you, sitting around and being like, man, I don't have a hat, and just being able to wave your wand and have one appear, and you get the added thrill of having to fight it first. That's great. You look like the sort of guy that already knows a skill. Let me summon a mean hat for you to try it out. Don't worry about it. I don't think I have a skill, but go for it. Go on, beat up the hat next to me. Don't you want to impress me? Wink! I don't think I have a skill. I guess we'll just leave him. I'll just let him sit there. Maybe we'll get a skill from talking to this guy, from talking to Paul. Don't think much about forcibly entering. Absolutely loves it. Love flowers. But hey, maybe you're right. It's an invasion of person. I like to think of it as a service. What if we take something every once in a while? Removing unnecessary clutter from our customers' lockers improves our lives dramatically. How else will they have enough room to store our products? It's business 101. Dylan, sorry, I got the hiccups for a second there. I'm Dylan now. I've learned my new name. The business is what we're all about. You're standing in the presence of Waterfalls High School's two newest entrepreneurs. Say hello to Paul and Alan of Paul and Alan's Textbook Emporium. And guess what? We're prepared to offer you a job as our new product manager. Congratulations. Just say nothing if you want to accept. Nailed it. Excellent. We got a real go-getter here, Paul. We can't pay you per se, but we couldn't help but notice how repulsive you are to be around. And I mean that in the best way possible. In lieu of money, we are offering you this miraculous book that we found in the main office. If it's good enough for the principal, it's good enough for you. Now mind you, kids who get caught sneaking in there tend to disappear, so you should appreciate that we got this for you. Interacting with others. That was on the title screen, I saw it! It, it just went away. As good businessmen, we went ahead and zipped out all the... Ripped. It says ripped. Ripped out all the pages for you. If you want the good stuff, you'll have to help us nurture our young, fragile business. As a signing bonus, we'll give you the first page for free. How does that sound? I learned a skill. Discuss differences. Wow. As product manager, your job will be to secure us as much product as possible. Textbooks are a really hot commodity at WFHS, but the trench coat kid, is, and, kid and his goons have the market completely locked down. Seriously, a hundred of those bastards. No way we've cleaned... That's where you should... You get books, pages to that...
I'll make a ton. Fawns in no time. A. See, it's a reference. It was on Happy Days. Henry, it's Henry Winkler. Oh, I got it. It was Henry Winkler. He was a character on Happy Days, played by Henry Winkler, who was real cool, except he couldn't say the word sorry. And when he punched Jukebox, how great is that? That's exactly the skill in this game. Haha, <laughs> yeah, we like to have fun around here. Well, give him the key. The janitor's key? You had it last. What? No, I didn't. You're the one with keys. Oh, please. I'll have you know I've never owned a key in my life. God damn. How the hell is our new project, product manager supposed to manage our product if he can't get into the old classrooms? We could start by looking in your locker for it, since you're the one that lost it. Fine. You're not going to find it there. All right, Dylan. Why don't you go find something else to do while we find your next task? I don't know, meet the other students or something. Oh, and by the way, don't carry that self-help book around with you. It's the school's only copy, and if they find out you stole it and rip the pages out of it, they'll probably send you to jail. Do you know what happens in jail to kids like you? I suggest carrying only a few pages with you at a time and leaving the rest in your locker. That's called plausible deniability. There's your business lesson for the day. Now get out of here. Let's um equip that skill real quick, because now we can now we can beat up the monster. Perhaps. Discuss differences. A basic ability that offers a longer combo as his rank increases. Okay. I wanna equip it. I wanna equip it. I guess this is how I equip it. I can't equip it. Why not? Go on, beat up that... Come on, I, I would love to beat this thing up. But I can't equip my Disgust Differences skill. Maybe I have to hit the button from here? No. Wait, what was that? No. I'm confused. It's not letting me equip my skill. I'm hitting every button. <laughs> I maybe they'll teach us how to equip the skill soon. Skill shop. Oh, that that costs um that oh this is where we get our new abilities when we when we uh, collect the ship for him. Okay. Oh right, like in the tutorial, equip um equip it at the locker. All right. Got it. Very slowly punching this fella. The way you destroyed that fest was so manly. Now that you're all sweaty and have some SXP? That means skill experience. There we go. Why don't you use your locker and try ranking up skill? Wink. Let's do that. Rank up. Square. One experience. Okay. One SP. SXP. All right, we've got another uh, another uh, rank in our skill. Congratulations, me. And actually, oh wait, okay, so we can do this again. Yeah, now we got a combo. Check that out. Oh my, you're just t tearing through those silly little mean hats. You have some more SSP now. Go ahead and rank that big sexy skill up one more time at your locker. Rank up. Level three out of five. All right, so now we have a longer combo. That's pretty great. Wait, so 
The first two skill, the first two level up, they were one SXP each. The next one is 1,137. Cool. <laughs> there you go. Now you know the secrets to ranking up your skills. When they hit a certain rank, they transform. But not all skills transform at the same ranks. You'll just have to use that big brain of yours to figure it out on your own. If you hang around with me some more, I could show you some new skills. Wink. All right. It's about time for me to switch games, so let's go save real quick. Now that we know how to do it, thank you, even though I figured it out before. Oh no, I figured out how to save. He actually let me manually save. Okay, so this has been Super Daryl Deluxe. It's a, ah, it's a weird game for sure. But, like I said, I always like weird. So, I'm having some fun with it. We'll see uh, if I stream this more or if I just play this off stream. I don't know. We'll figure out what I'm doing with it later on. I might just want to toss this as a uh, play by myself stream game. But we'll see. Anyway, stick around. We will be back in just a few minutes with another game. I just need to uh, get me a drink. And then we'll be back. So hang out.